Welcome back to the channel and today I want to talk about my three very big IB math paper tips so that will help you maximize your grade when it comes to those IB exams which at the time of recording is about a month or so so you need every little tip to make sure you succeed in those IB exams. Now number one is the five minute reading time which many students aren't aware of and particularly with maths it's actually a very very important part to play in your actual performance in the exam. So remember the grade boundaries are quite low when it comes to the IB maths exams. Now you'll see that in front of you with the May 2021 exams. It'd be surprised what grade you actually get from certain percentages. And the key thing to realize in that five minutes reading time is to target the questions that you can do. So say you've been looking at my prediction videos, if you haven't seen any of my prediction videos before, then please do check out the video above. You'll see that Voronoi diagrams, for example, on the application courses is one of those topics I do predict to appear. Also, normal distribution, that's also something that comes up a lot on the application papers. And what you should be doing in that five minutes reading time is targeting the questions that are your strengths. Now, this might be different to you. It also depends on the IA that you did. If you did a graph theory IA, if you're doing HLAI, then that's the kind of question you want to make sure you're getting all those marks on. If you're an optimization expert, then again, those are the kind of questions you really want to maximize your grades on. Or if you just love your HLAA calculus, Calculus, then make sure you target those questions. Number two is more for the application side, but also the analysis, particularly on that paper two, is know your graphical calculator. And I can't stress this enough. Now, when it comes to solving various different logarithmic exponential equations, you can actually use the graph feature really, really carefully to solve all kinds of equations. Don't necessarily rely on n solve. Say you try to solve a quadratic, n solve is only going to give you one particular answer. Whereas if you use a graphical method of solving, not only is that often used at IB anyway to solve a question, but it also helps you make sure you can guarantee all those marks. And whether it's trigonometry you're doing or you're doing a sequence and series question, those graphical methods are really going to be helpful for you time and time again. Now, this is also important for the analysis analysis students as well because that paper too many analysis students are so used to non-calculator methods they don't appreciate when to actually use that calculator so make sure that you are aware of it number three tip is time management in general so particularly for the high level students amongst you uh, you do not have much time to answer the questions particularly that really difficult paper three if you want specific paper three tips then do check out the video above um, but just make sure that you're giving yourself enough time for the entire paper. And particularly on those more difficult questions, make sure you're getting the first part of the questions correct. That's really, really important. For the analysis students, that is the section B. For the application students, that's the paper two. Make sure you can at least do the first half of the question and make sure you're guaranteeing those marks. Because as you can see from the grade boundaries I showed you earlier, um, this could make the difference between a grade four and a grade five or a grade five and a grade six. So make sure you're focusing on at least complete half of the question on those long extended questions. Okay, so do you have any tips at home that you'd like to share with the community? Then please let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear them and uh, hear from you soon. And if you've got any questions about the IB exams coming up, then of course, please let me know and contact me at my email address on channel info. All right, see your next video.